Hey everyone, it's Mike from FilterGrade, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Photoshop Actions. So typically when you get Photoshop Actions, you'll download a zip folder or a compressed folder. And to start, you're going to want to navigate to where you have that folder and unzip it. I have mine on my desktop. So you double click and open your folder and then navigate to the file that says .atn at the end of it. Normally there'll probably be a help file or a note file in here, but just pick this, action, or this actions file. Then you're going to want to go to Photoshop and make sure you have the actions panel selected. You can get this open by clicking window actions and it shows up there. So there's two ways to install Photoshop actions. They're both equally as simple, but they're just different methods. So the first would be to get the folder and double click the .atn file and then it should install for you right there as you can see. The next way would be the drop down in the actions panel and then click load actions. Then navigate to the same folder, double click and it should install for you. So now that we have the actions file, I'll just show you a little brief introduction to how it works. So you're going to want to, it's going to look like this when you open it. From there you're going to want to open the little group and click the first action, make sure it's selected, make sure your background is selected or your photo, then click play and the action should go on your photo. Then you can, I'll try the next one and the action is simply applied to your photo and if you open the group you can see what happens. Basically an action is just a series of steps like someone else's workflow being applied to your own photo. So that's just the basics for Photoshop actions. Next, we're going to cover some tips for managing and um, organizing your Photoshop actions. As you can see, I have hundreds of groups here, and I'll show you some of those tips and tricks and how you can do that. So thanks for checking the tutorial, and I encourage you to check out our website for more Photoshop actions at filtergrade.com.